My name is Hezi Aziz from Kiryat Shmona. I work with my brother in a mini market business. My wife Shlomit is a kindergarten teacher by profession. We have four children. One works in high tech, one is a soldier, one is in Boston. And my eldest daughter lives in Rehovot with two children. During this war, her husband was drafted twice into the army for several months. And during this time, she was pregnant. She was in bed rest. It was a difficult time. We stayed with her for three months straight. We are a very close-knit family, very united, together all the time. Friday, Shabbat, holidays. My family lost all of this and I'm watching them deteriorate inside. It is very difficult for us. It is like watching the disintegration of the family, especially for my wife. It is very difficult for her. She isn't able to carry this. On October 7, my wife was watching TV and I was getting dressed to go to the synagogue. She told me what was happening there. It was too much to contain, to comprehend. I remember the Six Day War, I remember the Yom Kippur War, I remember all the military operations, Grapes of Wrath, Operation Lebanon, I remember all of them. But this kind of event, I don't remember. There was never such an event in the history of the country, where we barricaded ourselves in our homes, and everyone was afraid. We were afraid. I was afraid. We left the house because all of Kiryat Shmona left in the first days and they forced us to leave. The army told us to leave everything, to evacuate quickly within 24 to 48 hours, take a suitcase and leave. Some people say to me, you live in a hotel, everything is fine. Living in an hotel is nice for a week, two weeks, maybe even three weeks, but that's it. It is impossible to live in a small room of 20 to 30 meters and take our entire lives and shrink them into one room. My wife and I are together all the time and every now and then my son, who is a soldier, comes here. He sleeps here in the armchair. We open the bed and he sleeps with us, three in the room. We are used to spaces, used to a big house and lots of activities. My wife, her therapy is cooking. You know when a girl loves cooking, baking, baking cakes, the kitchen. Now she doesn't have all of this to keep her mind busy. We were visiting my wife's parents in Tiberia. Suddenly my brother-in-law, who is also a good friend of mine, calls me and he says, Hezi, I'm here checking on your house to see if everything is okay. He calls me a couple minutes later and tells me, you have a missile at your house, in the garden. And I say, what do you mean a missile? What do missiles have to do with us? I asked him to send me a picture and he did. We left my in-laws and my wife and I went to Kiryat Shmona. We see a huge missile in the ground. It destroyed the entire terrace. My brother-in-law called friends and the police to help clean up. They were afraid the remains would explode. So they sent the police bomb sappers with a special remote control tractor. They took it out, dismantled it and everyone was safe. Four days later, I went to my business, to my workplace, to check on some things. And I say to myself, I drive by the house. A gut feeling, you know. We passed by. What do I see? All the boilers on the roof are blown. I see water dripping, but I didn't understand from where. I took a ladder that I have in the yard. I climbed up. What do I see? A huge hole in my roof and water dripping through the hole. I go into the house and I see everything is destroyed above destroyed inside, 
everything is destroyed. I was shocked. My brother was with me. He calmed me down. We sat for a few minutes to process it. What it all means. Who? What? Why? My soul was hurting. The house was damaged, but it's not just four walls. The home is so much a part of who we are. Someone heard about what happened and told me, your house is damaged, they will build you a new kitchen. I don't want a new kitchen. I don't want new flooring. I don't want anything new. I want to go back home, to my four corners. It's a whole world in and of itself. The calm, the peace, the sound of chirping birds. The fish we have there, the crabs, the turtles, all of this. Now we are separated from this. We feel empty. Our dream, as of now, is to go home, lay our heads on our pillows and sleep well to put on Shabbat clothes and go to my synagogue which is important to me to pray to the creator of the universe to return to normal life and to the place where our lives belong I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for the support of I Stand with Israel they helped us, they supported us, they encouraged us. God bless you.